106 p.m. the 22nd of October 2017 updated 106 p.m. the 22nd of October 2017 a charity is predicting a rise in the number of seals stranding off Cornwall in the wake of storm Ophelia. The yellow weather warning and flood alerts were issued on Monday, as the ex-hurricane arrived from the Atlantic. The sanctuary at Week rescued more than 50 injured pups last winter and is already taking calls this season. Now its hospital suite has just reopened after a major refurb, £50,000 has been spent on improving the facility for rescued pups and it includes everything from extra beds to a new roof. Curator Tamara Cooper says some are simply exhausted. She told Pirate FM they are usually with their mums for about two to three weeks, and then they have got to go out there alone. And if the seas are kicking up as they have been over the past 24 hours then it can be quite challenging for them to find their own food and navigate around the coastline as they do. Pups can come in just from exhaustion, trying to find your flippers in the rough seas can be quite challenging for a pup that is only a few weeks old. You can also get more serious injuries, things like broken bones, broken jaws, especially broken flippers from when they've been dashed against the rocks. Meantime, as the storms subsided, there were more reports of potentially deadly sea creatures being washed up onto our shores. Some Portuguese man-of-war were even washed inland with reports of them being found on the slipway and in the car park at Merzion. One listener told Pirate FM they found 17 on the beaches at Duport and Porthbian and 11 were very much alive on the sands. They warned members of the public who were on the beaches with children and dogs, as many dogs were off their leads. There were sightings at Carleon Bay, Carhays and in Falmouth, where one dog was reportedly badly stung as hundreds washed up. Scroll through a gallery of photos of the New Seal Hospital below, 106 p.m. the 22nd of October 2017.